George Stobart, well of all the... Mrs. Henderson. Boy, this is some coincidence, huh? When you've been married to a fruitcake like Dwayne as long as I have, you stop believing in coincidence. I'd met Pearl and Dwayne on the other side of the globe in Syria. He was an army veteran who suspected he was working for the CIA, but wasn't sure. She was less obviously deranged. Take a look at this news clip, Pearl. You'll have to read it to me, George. I left my specs in a gay bar in Santa Barbara. Well, it's about an eclipse of the sun, which is due to occur in a few weeks' time. You'd think the government would warn us about these kind of things. Uh, uh it's not dangerous or anything. Apparently, the best place to view the eclipse is right here in Cuaramonte. Oh, my. She didn't appear to be the slightest bit interested. Look at this, Pearl. A tequila worm. Don't you bring that thing anywhere as near me, honey. I swear I'll scream like a hog on a hot plate. What do you make of this statue, Pearl? Hoo-wee, that's a spitting image of Dwayne's brother Sheridan. A little less body hair, maybe, but it's him all right. What does this mean to you, Pearl? What cute little feathers. Why, if you had two of those, they'd sure make nice earrings. This isn't intended for frivolous personal adornment, Pearl. It's a dart, tipped with a fast-acting, muscle-numbing poison. Pardon me, I stand corrected, honey. Sometimes I got the feeling that communication with Pearl was like sending signals out into space. Maybe, if you waited long enough, you'd get an intelligent answer back. But it was a long shot. What do you make of this stone, Pearl? Oh, that's pretty. What's that thing supposed to be, a rabbit? I believe it's a coyote. Well, it sure is cute. I was surprised she didn't ask me where she could buy one. What brings you to Cuaramonte, Pearl? What takes me just about anywheres. The market. You drove 2,000 miles to go shopping? Shopping is my role in the economy of the great design, George. Is Dwayne here with you, Mrs. Henderson? Why, sure. I couldn't leave him home alone. Since Dwayne came back from the war, we couldn't bear to be apart. So, where is he now? We ain't speaking. Why aren't you speaking to Dwayne? Because he's an old spoiled sports sourpuss. I want to visit one of those old pyramid places, but Dwayne says he has to stay in town. Right. And you don't want to go on your own. Well, there's no point in going to the pyramid if there's no one around to take my picture. Is Dwayne still working for the CIA? If he is, he doesn't know it. He's what they call a snoozer. Uh, don't you mean a sleeper? No, this is different. He used to think he worked for them, but the psychotherapy cured him of that. What he doesn't realize is that now he really does work for them. At least that's the way I understood it. Catch you later, Pearl. I'm George Stobart. What do you think of these panties? Awesome. You wear them? Uh, no. Someone sent them to my girlfriend. Thoughtful. Have you heard about the eclipse of the sun? Sure. I'm having a party to celebrate it. Drop by. Really? Sure. Plenty of food, plenty of wine, and everyone's invited. Except the general. Do you recognize the design on this label? Why, sure. That's the Condor Trans Global Shipping Company logo. Do they have an office in Cuaramonte? No, but they ship out from here. That's what I thought. Do you know what this statue represents? Should do. I used to carve things like that to sell to tourists. But it scared people around here, so I stopped. Can you tell me anything about this stone? 
that's obsidian. It's a volcanic rock which has cooled so fast that... Yeah, yeah, look, I'm not interested in geology. You're not? I suppose you want to know about the carved picture on it. That's right. Then the guy you should talk to is the professor. He was here a while ago. What can you tell me about the mining company? The general closed down one of their mines after the explosion. Lots of folks lost their lives. I was lucky. I only lost my legs. Did you see the ship with the condor flag? Mm, no. But the dock is just the other side of the square. Might as well be the other side of the moon. It was Pearl's husband, Dwayne. Hey, Mr. Anderson. Good to see you again. Do I know you, son? George Stobart, remember? In Syria? I sold you a statue. I remember that. Pearl was mighty vexed when the paint came off. Look, I'm sorry. I'll give you back the $50. No, no. You suckered me fair and square. What do you think of these panties, Dwayne? Lord, hot stuff, George. You buy those for your girl? No, a guy we know in Paris bought them for. Oh, you're a threesome then. Why are you looking at me like that, George? Forget it. Do you know anything about a shipping company called Condor Transglobal? Sure I do. You have to get up pretty early to catch Dwayne with his pants down. What? You beat me to it? Condor Transglobal is all wound up. Seems like my investigations scared them off. Would you like to borrow my lucky piece of coal, Dwayne? What's so lucky about it? Well, we made it to Cuaramonte in one piece. When you've been here a few days, you won't look on that as luck. Would you like a biscuit, Dwayne? Oh, no. Those gourmet dog snacks bring me out in a rash. You've tried them? They were on special offer. Pearl bought a whole crate. When I asked her if she was thinking of keeping a dog, too, she just laughed. Did you drive all the way down here? Hell no. Pearl did the driving while I followed the maps. The way she handled the wheel, you'd think she'd been trucking half her life. Why did you bring a huge truck like that? George, I'm on a top secret classified mission for Uncle Sam. This truck is a rolling bomb. 400 pounds of nitrate fertilizer with a plastic initiator. They'll hear the bang in China. Gee, I'm really looking forward to this. I spoke to Pearl earlier. Yeah? Did she mention that we had a kind of falling out? Yes, she did. She'll get over it. Did you know that traditional music is illegal in Caramonte? Is that so? Seems reasonable to me. No, really. The leader of the band in the square has been in prison just because of the music he played. I don't know who you've been talking to, but that fella, Miguel, he's an agitator. What's the real reason the musician was imprisoned? Handed out subversive literature at the mines. That so-called general was waiting for Miguel when he got back into town. Marched him off to jail at gunpoint on a charge of inciting a riot. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Sounds like a comic book villain to me, son. He's the man behind Condor and the rat who kidnapped Nico. You know, the first time I met you, I was deeply impressed with your naive simplicity. I said to Pearl, if we ever had kids, I would have wanted a boy like George. But I underestimated you, son. Are you still working for... you know who? You know I can't talk about my work, George. That's between me and Uncle Sam. <laughs>